Well, brought that into this. People called him the Ar called him the Augur, but that's not quite right. He's actually the second Augur. The first one retired a while ago. You know, I just thought about that. I... I think I actually skipped that entire intro. That was... They removed it. Oh, it's because I'm streaming. Oh, well, regardless. Because, like, I didn't voice the aug the second Augur at all, so... That's interesting. I didn't skip the intro, did I? No, I don't think so. Oh, if I did, oh well. It gives other people good reason to go play the game. <laughs> I kind of feel bad for Damien. All of the other kids in town got a Pokemon and left, but he wasn't allowed to. What's up, Magmite? You guys got any interesting books? The History of the Cults. Nope. No, honestly, I'm not gonna read all of them, boy. How dare you! Yeah, I know. Terrible human being. Terrible. Terrible RPG player. <laughs> Yo, did you hear? The Argus coming to our little town. He's like the leader of the region. I heard he has a Salamence. Awesome! Professor Slo uh, Sylvan gives Eevee to young trainers as a starting Pokemon, which is a bit boring by itself. Eevee is special because it can evolve into so many different things. I don't know though. It wouldn't evolve my Eevee if I caught it. I just have the fi this feeling that there'd be a reward somewhere for keeping it as is. Hmm. Foreshadowing is foreshadowing. <laughs> Are you a trainer? If you want to succeed, you need to be ready for anything. Yes, give me potions. These potions let you heal your Pokemon even in battle. Yes, that, that is how that works. The Yaga's coming to our little old town now. Town? This is amazing. He's a world-renowned hero. So I've heard. For like the fifteenth time. You're like game, please shut up. <laughs> Most of the gyms in the Torn region are based around a theme rather than a type. For example, Xavier, the leader of Vipic City, has a forest themed gym, which means he uses both poison and bug types. And trust me, you don't even want to know what the elite fours teams look like. Oh no. I know what they look like. <laughs> are they scary? Um, they're all competitive teams. No. Oh. <laughs> like, yeah, it's it. As much as I would love to beat the Elite Four, I get this strange feeling I'm not going to be able to play uh, this game how I usually like to during that part. <laughs> I'm only six now, but soon I'll be old enough to get my own Pokemon. Yeah, you gotta wait four years. I can't wait. Yeah, I know. Four years. We all know the magic number. Seven. <laughs> uh, yes, we're gonna go send a seven-year-old to go capture God. Have a good day. Well, what else would you do with your life? You know what? Fair enough. Do you have a Pokemon? If not, I'm sure uh, Professor Sylvan would be happy to give one. She has a bunch of Eevees. Cool. Why? Why Eevee? <laughs> Hello, I'm Professor Sylvan. I'm the professor in this town. I suppose you want to start your Pokemon adventure? Most of the other kids in the neighborhood have already gotten their Eevee from me and headed north to the tr trainer school in Midnight Town. I uh, have to wait a little bit though. The town is busy preparing for the Argo's arrival. So am I. Why don't you come back later? But I wanted the Pokemon. Denied. Well, crap. I, I did go in that house. Okay. I believe I've talked to everyone but the Pikachu. Which I cannot get to, so... Going up. Hello. Buzz off, kid. I'm not here to talk to you. Well, screw you too. How about you? Oh, well, okay, you're also telling me to buzz off. 
I'm going to draw the Augur a portrait when he's here. After all, everyone in the town is supposed to give him a gift. Wait, no, I, I, I did not want to talk to you. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. All I have is one repel, seven potions, one ice heal, one awakening, one burn heal, and five pokeballs. Oh, and the clothes on uh, on my back, and um, I actually want to register that. There we go. And he doesn't get the flu. It lets me summon a legendary. It's pretty neat. Town or town is a small town in the east of the Torn region. We're far away from most of the cities in high life, but we're happy here. Are you sure about that? I finished cleaning up the road. Is there anything else I can do? Oh, this is Gamestar. I met, him. I met them outside. They offered to help, too. Nice to meet you, Gamestar. Well, Damien, I think we're pretty well finished. As long as you have your gift for the auger. Ready? I think you're done. You do have your gift, right? Oh. Well, uh... I may have forgotten. Of course you have. You better find one, and fast. I heard you could find a rare stone in one of the caves in the forest. Of course, you need a Pokemon to go safely. No, absolutely not. Not a chance. Damien is not ready to get a Pokemon. He's still just a child. Mom, please. Everyone else in the town already got theirs and have left. And you're not going to follow them. You'll get yourself killed. She does understand, like, more than likely the Pokemon themselves are going to kill you, right? Right? Right. <laughs> right. Why do you care? It's not like you're my real mother or anything. I raised you since birth. You're not capable of raising a plant, let alone a Pokemon. No, just give him a bulb so he'll die in like five seconds. Oh, you know what? No, better yet, get him a ghost Pokemon. Can't die. <laughs> Problem solved. Oh, you know, we just chuck him into the forest. He dies there and he becomes a Pokemon himself, so. Okay, we're gonna go there, huh? Well, you know what? This, uh, Pokemon World is uh, kind of depressing. And that is an actual Pokédex entry, so... Yeah, I know. <laughs> You're irresponsible, antisocial, and you can't even... Wow. Wow, calling people out for being antisocial. I am attacked on the internet for I, the millionth time. God. Attacks. So mean. That's enough out of you two. You're embarrassing us. You said your name was Gamester. I'm sure you've handled Pokemon before. If you count uh, a god, yes. I uh, Yes, I have. I've handled one Pokemon and I've had one battle. <laughs> That's all I know at the moment. Well then one to both of you and Damien. Would you be willing to help him through the forest to the cave to help find a gift for the Argo? No. Are you sure? The EVR Professor Sylvan gives out are the best of the best. Rest assured. No. Are you yeah, sure? If you insist, no. <laughs> uh, I don't want to babysit this kid. <sighs> Guess we're babysitting. Wonderful. I'm very grateful. So it's settled then. Gamester will help Damien to go to get a gift for the Aga. If Damien shows responsibility, perhaps he can keep the Pokemon afterwards. Well, how does that sound? Fine. He won't, though. Gamester, let's go! Why did I get- oh, oh, okay. I'll meet you in the professor's lab to get an Eevee. She has a bunch of Eevee from her days as a trainer. Yeah, that doesn't entirely surprise me. Just- Just go catch and just hoard all of this one Pokemon. 
That way you can say that no one else can have one. Stonks. Stonks! The lab is just in the southeast corner of the town. I'll see you there. I really hope I don't mess this up. Da -da 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 -da. Hey, Gamester. Thanks for agreeing to do this with me. It really means a lot. Kid, I met you like five minutes ago. Why are you dragging me into this crap? How did he show up behind me? Listen, Professor. These Pokemon, they're freaks. No other trainer would want them, and we can't keep them any longer. All I want is for you to take them. You already, you already keep a bunch of Eevee as is. Surely these three won't be a bother. Why do you care about them? I know what you've done. It's true. I'm merciless. I've done some awful things. But there's no reason for these Pokemon to die. Uh, hello? I'm Damien, and this is Gamester. We're here to get a Pokemon so we can go into the forest safely. Dot, 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 dot. So then, if you don't take these Pokemon, I'll release them. And they're sure to die in the wild. If you want, you can just give them to these kids, right? Put them on the table. Very well. Excuse me, please. So, you two are in need of a Pokemon? Uh, yes, ma'am? I see. Uh, I, do, I don't need one. I have a god. That I can just summon practically whenever I want with a flute. I think I'm good. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, but I'd take one just to make it happy. Dang. That man that was in here just now, he was one of my colleagues in university. He's a smart man and a great scientist. Da 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 da. He's also the leader of the cult of perfection. It, a cult leader? Those people are evil, Professor. You shouldn't be talking to them, let alone be accepting gifts from them. I like that you read the dots in the voice of the character. Dot 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 dot. No, <laughs> yeah, I know it. I mean, like I I know like typically it's like a sigh or something like that, but like. Might as well just talk talk as if I'm the character, so. Tell me, Damien, Gamester, have you ever heard of something called Delta Species? No? Actually, no, yes I have. They're a Pokemon card. Oh. Me neither. No, seriously, they used to have uh, Pokemon cards that, uh, like, I had a Charmeleon. A Pokemon card that was uh, electric type, and it was the Delta Pokemon. It was uh, just, it was just a uh, Charmander that had a different typing. That's all. I hear you. Mm -mm. <laughs> it, yeah. So like, I I want to say I think that's where this game has some of its uh influence in. Mm. Is off of that idea. But, like, to a much greater extreme. <laughs> me neither. Then allow me to explain. Delta Pokemon are based on a phenomenon in the Holland region, far away. They're Pokemon that have different DNA than normal Pokemon. Simply put, they're typed differently than normal. An example would be an electric-type Dragonite or a water-type Porygon. These Pokemon on the table now are Deltas. I'm not sure what type they are, but they seem to be experiments of Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle. They're scientific marvels. I would love to keep one to study. Now, normally I would give you an Eevee as a Pokemon to start off your journey. However, it seems that 
There are three more options for you to choose from, so I will offer you this. You may choose one of these three Delta Pokemon to travel with, or the Eevee I know to give away. If you want an Eevee, talk, talk to me. Otherwise, take your pick. Gamestar, I don't know what to do. I don't like the idea of Pokemon made by a murderer. Get over it, kid. There's plenty of Murder those. Pokemon. Take them. But I don't like the idea of these Pokemon left all alone forever. You can you can pick, but hurry up. I don't know when the Argo is arriving. I shall call them Murdermon. Murdermon! That sounds like a really bad Digimon. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, welcome to the first, like, big freaking uh, uh, choice of this game. So we have a dark fighting type Squirtle. We have a ghost dragon type uh, Charmander. What? Or a psychic fairy uh, Bulbasaur. Hmm. And now that I just remembered, uh, I'm gonna pull something up. Because <laughs> uh, I remember I made a spreadsheet that had the locations of everything, of like all the deltas yeah. and such. You over here spread cheating again. Dude, I I spent like the the entire week zero working on this. <laughs> Wait, really? It was not fun. Like at all. Let me just make a new copy of this. Okay, so <laughs> in general, um, this like, whew, uh, this is quite the uh, big like. The fact that you get four different options for your starter is so cool, but like the fact that you can end up with technically Pokemon made by a motor is as. Damien put it. It's very interesting for a game to take. Yeah. Um. But anyways, uh. So uh. I'm trying to think. The Bulbasaur is ultimately the best because of typing reasons. But I hate fairy type. Yeah. The Charmander is practically playing this game on frickin' hard mode. Because <laughs> anything and everything has a frickin' fairy type move. So, that leaves uh, Squirtle and the Eevee. And I see personally. Regardless of anything, I would always go to the Squirtle. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's fair. Uh, I know on my pre... I know, like, the first time I played this game, I picked the Charmander because uh, ghosts... It's like, having a ghost Pokemon as your starter is a really cool concept to me. I found out that it was uh, not good. Um... Uh, <laughs> Quickly found out it was not as good as I thought it would be. Um, Ooh, goes go dead. Granted, <sighs> like the small part of me actually wants to go for the Eevee. Do it, you old coward. I just I don't know what I'm gonna name it. Eevee. <laughs> Hmm? The vowels. Swap the vowels. EV becomes Uru or Ava. <laughs> wow. <laughs> one second, I'm just gonna turn up the volume on you. 
Denied. I shall be quiet. Quiet. Okay, well, I put you to 200%. You'll regret that sooner or later. I know. That's why I'm turning it back down. <laughs> See, that's why I have Jinx set to, like, 50%, because I know he's loud. He is so loud. <laughs> hey, Great Pape. How are you? Ghost tape. Uh, you know what? <sighs> Even though I'm sure I'll regret this later. Let's grab the Charmander. <laughs> well, it's like, uh, cause like, I, I don't remember which one. I want to say Damien grabs the Squirtle for me doing this. Like, the type balancing is not at all a thing in this game for the starters. Charmander is easily the weakest for the typings. Yeah. Uh, what shall we nickname our Charmander? I feel like Grape Ape should answer that. Aw, uh, now I'm just scared. Grape Ape! We, uh... We evoke you to give us a good name. <laughs> Spooky boy. Spooky boy! It's the only applicable name. They also did the great thing of uh, your Pokemon walk behind you. Like they did in uh, Huckles and Soul Silver. That's nice. Which I makes like this even better. Gamester, I think you're right. I'm going to pick a Delta Pokemon, just like you. <sighs> Child. If your friends are jumping off a bridge, go ahead and join them, please. If your friend has a murder mon, get one as well. <laughs> yep. Hey, Gamester, before we go into the Shade Forest... How about a battle? It would be a, the perfect time to test out our new Pokemon. Would it though? Would it? Let's go! They should have had Damien pick the fairy just to make this first battle super hard. <laughs> I don't even remember like what typing I have. Or oh, like, uh, starting moves. Spooky Goat Boy! Yeah, I have Twister. So yeah, if he would have taken the ball, so like... Oh, I guess I can only use Scratch. <laughs> what is problem? Oh, okay. Twister. Twister. Yeah. Twister. <laughs> I want to say, like, how I made it through a lot of this game was because of, uh, Twister and flinching Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> Defeated rival Damien. I have not claimed him as a rival at all. I want this to be stated now. He's just following me. I don't want him here. Please help. Game still got 320. Yay! Wow. You're a great sorry, battle you rob your friend. Yep. I stole his lunch money. <laughs> you know, as you do. He's the one that decided to call me his rival, apparently, so... Wow, you're a great battler. Do you think maybe you could take on a gym someday? Huh. I don't know, is this a, a game called Pokemon? No. Nah, well, then, uh... Have a good day, everybody! <laughs> uh, anyways. Alright, Gamester, here's the deal. I'm going to head north into Shade Forest. At the northern end of the forest is a really large cave in the middle of that. Cave is the rare stone we're looking for. I'll meet you there, okay? Gamester, can I talk to you for a moment? Damien rushed off before I could give him one, but I'd like you to have this. Yay, Pokédex. This is the Pokédex, short for Pokémon Index. It is a data collection of all Pokémon that I give to trainers. 
If you see a Pokemon, it will be registered in the Pokédex. If you catch one, the Pokédex will be full of data regarding that Pokémon. Anyways, now that you've gotten that, you should be all set to go on your adventure. Head up north to the Telenor Cave, deep in the forest. Be careful, and good luck. Whee! There's no easy way to search through this, so... I wanted to go read, uh, Pokédex entries, but I think that would just be better to do at some any other point. <laughs> but yeah, me and Spooky Boy, we got this. <laughs> Thank you, Malted. <laughs> uh, I don't know what you're thanking me for. Uh, yeah. Can I can never figure out why I'm um... <laughs> Malted. <laughs> <laughs> like, you do realize it's worse if I, like, I just read it out loud instead. <laughs> yeah. Bum, 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 bum. Pikachu, get down here. Time to use my motor mod. In the dex nav. Right. Map. So yeah, here's the entire region. Fairly good sized region. Well, I mean, this is region one of the game. Oh. <laughs> they have a I want to say the other regions to the right of this map, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which I know Jinx uh, was at. I I ultimately think we think that Jinx was just going through and just uh, getting legendaries at the point he was. That sounds about right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Why hello there! Oh, Pochon. Yeah, like Pochon. <clears throat> oh, would you look at that? I found the Pikachu that was uh, taunting us. In the town. Clearly, right? <laughs> Twister. Thundershook. of how good a Pikachu would actually be. First gym... Eh, it's not the best for the first gym, but just to have another Pokemon would be pretty good. Yay! I'm actually not going to name any of the normal Pokemon. They can say as is. How dare. Uh, ultimately, I don't really care about the deltas. Understandable. Have a nice Or anything day. Um, that I'm like planning on using. And if I plan on using it, then I'll just go in and uh, nickname it before we use it. Okay. I did not mean to start that fight. <laughs> Star. Oh, right, yeah. This is gonna be a lot of those. Bookie boy! <laughs> 